UBC, like any other institution, um, when they're conducting research, have different responsibilities. Um, there's institutional responsibilities, there are individual responsibilities. The circle of compliance is the, one of like, the point we get across with this, is that research compliance is the, is the game that we all want to play and it's, it's the, the effect that we want to get out of this. Um, complying with rules and regulations, making sure things are being done properly, um, having protections put into place. Um, but there are lots of people that are involved in ensuring that that compliance happens. Um, and those have different responsibilities. Researchers, faculty and students have certain roles and responsibilities when it comes to keeping within the, within the, within the rules. Um, there are committees in institutions like UMBC. Uh, one is the Institutional Re Review Board, whose sole job is to ensure that research that's being done with individuals um, is being done ethically, is being, being done appropriately, and you have safeguards and protections put into place. There are offices or units on, on, on campuses, such as my office, that helps you as researchers and assist those committees to make sure that, not deal with the paper flow, but make sure that their educational information gets out. Um, but the administration itself, um, the vice president of research, up to uh, Dr. Hrabowski himself, have different roles and different responsibilities in ensuring that compliance occurs. Because there are different outside groups, federal government, state government, the university system, put in a lot of uh, input into money to make sure that, that you can conduct research, expectations for faculty and students to do dissertation, master's thesis for faculty to get tenure, um, to, to conduct research, and there are different uh, procedures that the people need to follow. Compliance is to ensure compliance with those rules and procedures is important to make sure that we're all, we all do we all conduct things properly. The responsibility of a researcher in any, any uh, institution is to ensure that when scientific investigation occurs and the, and the practice is conducted among scientists and professionals, that things are being done responsibly. Um, the Office of Research Integrity is the federal office that says to campuses like ours, you got, you got a, a bunch of things that we expect you to do. Here's a whole list of regulations. Here's a whole list of policies that you need to put into place. In, in all that information is details of how to be a responsible researcher. What your role is to ensure, in particular, and working with, with people, um, how, how are you going to be conducting this research? What are you, what are you going to be doing to protect those individuals? Um, the procedures and, pro and policies put into place show you as a researcher how to conduct things responsibly. All in all, what all this comes down to is to make sure that you do the right thing. Um, and doing the right thing means that you, have a, you should develop it within yourself, um, but within your, your practice, within your discipline, some core Core, uh, some core ethical responsibilities. Some of these, may, some of th these things may look familiar um, to academic integrity, respect and, and integrity and honesty, um, learning and scholarship, avoiding errors, reporting results accurately. Academic integrity and research integrity almost are the same, but when it comes to, uh, to conducting research, there's this thing called creating trust with your colleagues and with the public in general. That trust is based on how the research is being conducted, how things are being done, how it's being, being conducted responsibly, using those resources wisely. If you have money that comes from to, to conduct some uh, research from a grant, you have a responsibility to make sure the money is spent properly. Know that there are ethical choices to make and to make those appropriate decisions based on those ethical choices. Um, there are best practices that you need to follow to ensure that things are being done properly, things are being done ethically. 
Um, know that when you conduct research or a scientific investigation that the, there's a responsible way of doing things and there's the irresponsible way of doing things which may cause problems if not for you but for the institution itself. And those problems could lead to consequences. Lack of money, um, the ability not to conduct research, the loss of privileges. That comes to research that's done with people. Doing the right thing. Mark Twain has this one quote that I found, and doing the right thing going to gratify some people and astonish the rest. Tuskegee syphilis trials, right. A perfect example. The individuals were not told of the research that was being conducted. They were injected with some types, with a, with a syphilis uh, strain, and weren't told that they were going to have some potential benefit, uh, uh, ill effects come from them. Um, any other examples? Anybody heard of Stanley Milgram? Uh, Stanley Milgram was a psychologist who did uh, some interesting uh, uh, behavioral experiments where he told individuals that you're going to do one thing and you're going to do something where you're going to inflict pain upon individuals. And the, the idea behind the experiment was to have, to basically electrocute somebody. But we didn't, he didn't tell his participants is that in a box in another room was someone who was pretending to be, to be electrocuted. It was all part of this experimentation to see how far someone will go. 